Tech Gadget TV. Boston Dynamics had previously showed videos of the Atlas robot doing parkour and other routines, but the most recent shows behind the scenes footage of robot crashes as well as maintenance on them. In the second video they show two Atlas robots running a parkour course. People fear the android apocalypse and that the advanced Boston Dynamics humanoid robots will hunt us humans down. In the latest video implies they'd have little trouble doing so. In reality, according to the US-based firm, they still crash approximately half of the time while completing the parkour routine film to demonstrate Atlas's agility. In the video, two Atlas robots traverse a series of varying height jumps and steps, vaulting over and running along a balanced beam, and finishing with two backflips each. The robots aren't intelligently navigating an unfamiliar track, which is more than most humans can do, according to the Boston Dynamics researchers. They've been programmed and taught how to do it. Atlas creators claim that the robots can crash a lot. It's not like the robot spontaneously decided to perform parkour on its own, said Aaron Saunders, chief technology officer. It's a choreographed performance, similar to a skateboarding or parkour video, in which the actions are performed by an athlete who has practiced them. We're trying to figure out how to push it to its boundaries, and we're sometimes succeeding. That teaches us a lot about how to construct robots that can survive falling on their faces and getting back up and doing it again. The behind-the-scenes look at how the often viral films are generated reveals the stumbling blocks and blunders that frequently occur while attempting to make a 175 centimeters, 75 kilograms robot execute parkour. Robotics researchers utilize Atlas to explore and refine robotic movements, while parkour courses are used to test novel behaviors. While the routines are rehearsed and pre-programmed, Boston Dynamics claims Atlas has improved its ability to judge its own environment, and its actions are now far more based on perception than in prior movies. However, in a real-world chase, humans would still have the upper hand against robots, at least for the time being.